In the earlier lecture, we have discussed about two rubby crops that is wheat and chickpea. And today we are going to discuss about barley, which is one of the most important cereal rubby crop in India. Barley, whose scientific name is Hordium vulgari, belongs to the family Poaceae or Graminae, having chromosome number twice and equal to 14. It is a rubby crop in India which is similar to wheat in many respects. All the vegetative characters are like wheat, except that the auricles of leaf are conspicuous and very much pronounced, which clasps the kern. Barley consists of shallow and deep roots, cylindrical stem, hairy leaf blades, slightly serrated, inflorescence known as spike or head at the nodes of a zigzag rachis and grain called caryopsis, consisting of lemma, pelia, and Erachila. Let's look about the origin and history of this crop that is barley. It is the first crop cultivated by human being. Barley is believed to have been originated from Asia and Ethiopia, although some investigators considered Abyssinia as the principal center of origin because many diverse forms grow wild there. In India, the crop was introduced soon after the coming of the Aryans and cultivated since ancient time. Let's see about the area and distribution of this crop. Bali is one of the major cereal of the world. The important countries growing this crop are Russia, China, Canada, USA, Spain, France, Australia, UK, and India. Russia ranks first in area as well as production, followed by China. In India, it is cultivated on a commercial scale in Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Haryana, and Punjab. Let's see the economic importance of this crop. In European countries, it is used as the only breakfast food, whereas the people of Nepal, Tibet, and Bhutan use it as a staple food. The most important uses of barley in India are as green feed to the livestock and poultry, as malt for manufacture of beer and other liquors like brandy, whiskey, etc. Sometimes barley is mixed with gram and then grounded to flour for preparing better quality chapatis. Grains are roasted and grounded and used as sattu also. And let's have a look on the classification of this crop. According to Arbeck and Vibe 1946, barley has been classified into three distinct species based on the number of rows of grain and the arrangement. The species are number one, Hordium vulgari, which is six row barley, number two, Hordium disticon, which is a two row barley, and the third one is Hordium irregular, which is a two-row barley. And let's see about the soil and climatic requirement of this crop. First, let's see about the soil type. Barley grows well in wide range of soil types. It prefers well-drained loam and clay loam soils, though it is raised in sandy loams and black soils too. It requires soil of neutral reaction, that is pH 7. Heavy soils with good water retention capacity are also good for raising the crop. As rain, water is retained longer. However, soils with poor structure and poor drainage 
are not suitable as barley is sensitive to water logging. Barley can be successfully grown on lighter soils provided their water and nutrient holding capacity are improved. Let's see about the climate. Barley, which is a cool crop, belongs to temperate climate, but it can also grow in subtropical conditions. It cannot tolerate frost at any stage of growth, and incidence of frost at flowering is highly detrimental for the yield. The optimum temperature for seed germination is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Annual rainfall between 400 to 500 mm is ideal for normal growth and production. Warm and damped climate is not suitable for barley production. Average of 12 to 15 degrees Celsius is congenial for growth and 30 degrees Celsius for grain maturity. Being a long day plant, light period of 10 to 12 hours during growth and 12 to 14 hours during reproductive growth is ideal. Let's have a look on varieties of this crop that is barley. Improved varieties of barley developed so far are Hustless varieties, that is current tree, 16, 18, 19, 750, 757, DL487, and K1155. Hulk varieties, Ratna, Zoti, Kailas, current 15, current 280, NH87. Salt tolerant varieties, current tree, current 4, 16, 18, 19, Zoti, Amber, Azad, C251. And varieties for malting are C138, RD57, RS6, RD137. Varieties for chapatis are Karan16, that is Nilam, Karan19, and Kanpur318. Drought resistant varieties are K14169225252273 1041166 RD31 and RD137 Nematode resistant varieties are Rajkiran that is RD387 Now let's see about the cultural practices of this crop, that is barley. Land preparation. The soil is ploughed with marble ploughed after Karib crop harvest to bring a fine tilt. As the seed is small or is deeply ploughed with two to three times harrowing or four to five intercross ploughings with tractor attached cultivator followed by a rotavator. Planking is done after ploughing to retain the moisture. In rain-fed areas, the soil tillage is operated in the evening as evaporation of the soil moisture takes place, if done during the hot day. Furrows are opened and kept to capture the dew during the night and planking is done early morning to conserve the moisture. Let's see about the manures and fertilizer application for this crop. About 10 to 15 tons of FIM or compost should be added to the soil at least 4 to 6 weeks prior to sowing. The nitrogen, the phosphorus and potash doses are given according to different conditions. Number one, irrigated timely shown. Under this Nitrogen is given at the rate of 50 to 60 kg per hectare, phosphorus at the rate of 30 to 40 kg per hectare, and potash at the rate of 20 kg per hectare. Irrigated late sun condition, nitrogen is given at the rate of 40 to 50 kg per hectare, phosphorus 20 to 30 kg per hectare, and potash at the rate of 20 kg per hectare. Unirrigated that is rain-fed condition. The rate of nitrogen is 40 kg, 
फसफरस टोवेंटी एंड पटास टोवेंटी के जी पार हेक्टर सेलैन सोएल्स द रेट अफ नाइट्रोजें एस एट्टी के जी फसफरस थार्टी एंड पटास थार्टी के जी पार हेक्टर फॉर मोटिंग बार्ली नाइट्रोजें इज गिवेन एट द रेट अफ थार्टी के जी पार हेक्टर फसफरस टोवेंटी एंड पटास टोवेंटी के जी पार हेक्टर Half of nitrogen and total phosphorus and potash should be applied at the time of sowing. The remaining half quantity of nitrogen should be top dressed at the time of first irrigation. In rain fed situations, the whole of nitrogen and phosphorus should be given 5 to 8 cm deep in furrows at the time of sowing. In case of light soils, one third of nitrogen plus full dose of phosphorus and potash should be applied as basal, one third of nitrogen after first irrigation and the rest one third of nitrogen after second irrigation. Under saline soil condition, the entire fertilizer should be applied as basal at least 8 to 10 centimeter deep. Let us discuss about the sowing situation of this crop. Sowing time. The normal sowing season extends from the middle of October to the middle of November depending upon the elevation, soil type, moisture status and irrigation facilities. Under rain fed condition, sowing should be completed during the third or fourth week of October. And let's see about the seed rate. Seed rate depends on the variety, soil moisture status, sowing method, tillering ability, time of sowing, etc. The seed rate for different situations are given as under irrigated timely sowing condition, the seed rate is 75 to 90 kg per hectare. Under irrigated late sowing condition, the seed rate would be 100 to 120 kg per hectare. And under rain fed situations, the seed rate may be 80 to 100 kg per hectare. And under saline or alkaline soils, the seed rate may be 100 kg per hectare. Now let's see about the seed treatment for this crop. Barley seeds should be treated with fungicides like agrosangean, tiram or vitavex at the rate of 3 grams per kg seed before sowing to protect the seed from the associated diseases. Let's see about the sowing method for this crop. Method of sowing is an important aspect particularly under rain fed conditions. Seeds should be dropped with the help of nai or pora attached to country plow or with the help of seed drill to ensure uniform distribution of seed at the Optimum depth. In irrigated areas, seed may be shown by Kera method. And let's see about the sowing depth and spacing for this crop. Sowing depth and spacing depends on the variety, soil condition, and cropping system adopted. Barley seeds should be shown at a depth of 4 to 6 cm below the soil with a spacing of 22 to 23 centimeter between the rows under irrigated and 23 to 20 centimeter under rain fed condition. The best depth for sowing is 3 to 5 centimeter under irrigation and 5 to 8 centimeter under rain fed condition, depending upon the initial soil moisture. Let's have a look on this cropping system of this crop. The cropping system followed in India are cereal cereal system in which rice, barley, maize, barley, permalet, barley and sorghum, barley are followed. Under legume cereal system, it may be as pigeon pea barley, mung bean barley, Urbin barley and cowpea barley. 
Under miscellaneous system, the cropping system followed are groundnut barley, cotton barley, sunham barley, sugarcane barley, and potato barley. Barley can also be mixed grown with rubby crops like field pea, chickpea, rasmus, ripe seed mustard, and linseed, etc. Let's see about the water management or irrigation for this crop. With erratic, unpredictable, and uneven distributed rainfall, irrigation is given to barley only at the most critical stages of the crop. Barley requires at least four irrigations as water is a limiting factor, particularly at the critical stages of barley, namely seedling stage that is sowing to tillering, tillering stage that is 30 to 35 days after sowing, flag leaf stage that is 60 to 65 days after sowing, milky stage that is 80 to 85 days after sowing. Second and fourth irrigation are more important in barley. Water should be applied at 5 to 6 cm in every irrigation. However, if only two irrigations are available, they should be given at tillering and flag leaf stage. Let's see about the weed management for this crop. Weeds in barley are controlled by the following methods. The first one is adopting a good cultural practice. The second one is use of wheat free seeds and clean seed bed. The third one may be for controlling broadleaf weeds, use of 2,4-D that is sodium salt 80% or 2,4-D amine salt that is 72% at the rate of 0.75 kg AI per hectare plus 3% urea in 700 to 800 liters of water at 30 to 50 days after sowing. Under rain fed conditions, the rate of application may be reduced to 0.5 kg per hectare. Wild oat can be controlled by pre emulsions application of Avadex BW at the rate of 2.5 liters per hectare in 600 to 700 liters of water. The herbicide should be covered with soil immediately at a depth of 3 to 4 cm. Integrated weed management involving pre emergence herbicide application of pendimentalin at the rate of 0.75 to 1 kg AI per hectare, followed by one hand weeding or one post emergence herbicide application of isoproturon or metazuron or metabenthiouron at the rate of 1.5 kg AI per hectare to control grassy and broadleaf weeds. Let's discuss about the plant protection measures for barley. Insect pest management is one of the most important tasks that is to be given for barley production. Barley crop is attacked by a number of insect pests and rodents. Soil insect pests like white ants, termites, weevils, and cutworms can be controlled by aldrin 5% dust at the rate of 20 to 25 kg per hectare and mix it well in the soil at the time of last plowing before sowing. Foliage pest, namely aphids and jacids, are controlled by metacystox 0.1% at the rate of 2 to 3 mR per liter water. Rodents are controlled by fumigating with aluminum phosphate at the rate of 1 tablet 0.5 to 3 gram per burrow or with cumarin that is retafin at the rate of 1 kg of prepared bait. Let's see about the disease management for this crop. Barley is attacked by different diseases such as powdery mildew, rust, loose mud, strip disease, molia disease, etc. Preventive and control measures can be taken as 
growing resistant varieties as far as possible. Treating the seed before sowing with any fungicide, that is Shirashon, Vitavex, Agrosan, etc. at the rate of 2.5 gram per kg seed. If the disease still appears, spraying of 0.2% Zineb, Dietin M45 or Keratin are helpful. Keeping the field clean, there is field sanitation, as many of the diseases are soil borne and superficial diseases. Timely sowing of the crop is mandatory to escape from insect pest diseases. Surface dusting at the rate of 15 to 20 kg per hectare is also helpful. Coming to the harvesting process of this crop. Barley is ready for harvest when plant turns yellow and dried up. The harvesting time depends upon the time of sowing, variety used, and agroclimatic zones of the country. The crop is harvested before it is dead ripe to avoid yield loss. The right time to harvest the crop is when the moisture content in grain is 12%. Harvesting is usually done by serrated sickle by hand. Bullock-driven reapers, machine-driven reapers, combined harvesters, etc. are also used. Let's see about how threshing, cleaning and storage are done for this crop. Barley is threshed after drying the harvested crop for 3-4 to four days on the threshing floor. Threshing is done by trampling with bullock feet or by power-driven thresher. After threshing, the grains are cleaned, winnowed, and properly dried for storage in a gunny bag or other suitable materials. The straw is collected and kept as hay and used for animal feed or for mulching purposes. Let's see the yield potential of this crop. High yielding variety of barley and the proper and improved package of practice would give a grain yield to the tune of 4 to 5 tons per hectare under irrigated condition and 1.5 to 2.5 tons per hectare under grain fed conditions. However, yield of the crop depends on the variety and agronomic practices adopted. Barley production and productivity can be enhanced with the use of improved package of practices. Due to global warming and climate change, barley cultivation has to be adjusted with the changing environment. The production and yield depends on biotic management part as climatic factors cannot be controlled. Systematic management of soils, scientific sowing methods, adjustment of sowing time, Introduction of integrated system of management needs to be adopted at farmer's field. Irrigation system needs priority in view of the changing global temperature and erratic rainfall pattern. Hence, sustainable production with stable ecology and safe environment has to be given priority in barley cultivation. <music>